Welcome back to Silent Hill Origins. In the last episode, we were going through the Artaud Theater and we actually finished with it. And at the very end, we were given the key to Riverside Motel? Hotel? I think it was a motel. Which turns out, if we very slowly move over here, is at the bottom left of the map. Yeah, Riverside Motel. Um, I think I'm probably supposed to go down Kuntz Street over here because I remember I tried to go down here before, before going into the theater. And it wasn't actually blocked off. My character just turned around and said, like, hey, I need to, I need to go to the theater first. So I probably head down here and then down here, down here, something like that. So let's go. Might be energy drink time. Oh, do I want to go down and check these side streets? I mean, I do. I do. I want supplies. I want things. Give me things. Like, I mean, look at this. Just in the very middle of the road, a baton and an energy drink. Just Red Bulls everywhere. Actually, they're not red. I guess they're more like... Monster? Energy drinks? Those are kind of green, aren't they? Oh, come on. Get your breath back. Yeah, we're on Simmons Street. Ooh, shovel. I don't I don't think I've gotten a shovel before, have I? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with the camera and the movement being terrible. I'm just trying to leave this place. Camera switches. Okay. Oh, I did it. Gotta have lightning fast reflexes. can't continue that way, so I think I was supposed to go down Canyon Street back here. But let's check out this little side street first. Probably some goodies. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Did I need to go here? Or is this a whole extra building? <laughs> first thing you see is horror books. That's appropriate. and rows of books. Oh, a assault rifle ammo. Oh my god. I'm glad I went down here. They're just giving me an AK-47. Okay. Wait, what did you say? I can't... Oh, I can't stop to look at these books. I thought I said I can't stop looking at these books. Andy, everything is fine. Sold lots of books. Have locked your keys in the cash register. The combination is your Greenfield apartment number. Hope you enjoyed your vacation. Dharma. Hmm. Greenfield apartment number. Uh. The mailbox for apartment 213 is overflowing. Looks like the mail hasn't been collected for weeks. Okay, so it's 213, isn't it? Thankfully, I did a state save back here, so I don't have to run all the way back. 213. Bookstore key.
Ah, oh, that gets me through this barrier. So I guess Canyon Street is probably closed off too. So I probably did have to go through there. Hold on. I feel like I have a lot of ammo. 40 service ammo, 16 shotgun. I got the assault rifle. I don't think I'm going to use that for anything except a boss. Um, okay, I don't have that much ammo, actually. Mostly shotgun and service ammo. I was thinking if I have, like, a couple hundred rounds for a pistol, I might as well just use that for every enemy. But, eh. Not enough for me to want to use them just totally freely like that. I bet you there's something down here. I remember I went here a while ago. Well, shit. Let's see if I remember what buttons are which. I know X. Oh, I'm so dead. Hey, there's another, another item. That's definitely a run the hell away situation. In fact, I should probably just switch to a gun right now. I can always switch to a melee weapon if I need it, but... If I really need a gun, I'd like to have it. Do I have any for the target pistol? <laughs> One shot for that, okay. Let's go with the surface pistol. Yes, yeah, so I've already been to this area before. Oh my god, that's assault rifle ammo. I think I actually might be near the end game. Because this game is not very long. It's supposed to be around six hours, and I think I've played it for maybe roughly that long. Of course, I tend to play games a little bit slower than most, so it could easily be about eight hours for me, but even then, we probably would be pretty close to the end. And the assault rifle is extra making me think that. Because that feels like an end game weapon, right? Like, where do you go? How do you go up from an assault rifle? It's a big one. It's so big. Ooh. Rifle ammo. Nice. Shit. Meat gaff. What's it? Is that a weapon? I have so many weapons. Meat gaff. Gaff. There it is. Long pole with an evil looking spike and hook tethered to the end. Hmm. So it's obviously a long a long pole that you can like stab into meat to manipulate it, I guess. Like I'm guessing this would be used by a butcher, but I'm not exactly sure how it'd be used. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. That is the biggest damn can I've ever seen in my life. Full of old bottles. Service pistol ammo, assault rifle ammo, service pistol ammo. They are loading me up for something. Ampule? Now I have enough that I feel 
like I could pretty freely use the service pistol at this point. I have enough shotgun ammo and um, assault rifle ammo, especially. That I feel like I could probably take any boss. Someone's written on the receipt. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the butcher to chop off your head. But your head. Is that the final boss? Almost there, though. Probably supposed to go to the right, but I want to go up and see if I can find even more assault rifle ammo. Nothing. Advertisement for a ro rodeo, July 7th to 10th. Is that where I need to go? Yes, okay. What is that sound? Something real big. Is that another one of those creatures like we just saw, or is that something else? Oh. Oh. They just copied... They just copied the last boss that I fought. Okay. Bye. Why would I fight it? Rifle ammo, another tire iron. Health drink, I gotta explore. Even if I get cornered back here, I don't care. I'm sure I've got enough ammo to shoot that thing. Is there another one? Yeah. Let me take an energy drink. Do I really need more ammo? Like, why am I exploring for ammo? I really don't. But I want it. Just because. Oh. They're just all over the place. Very, very scary, as you can see. What a baffling decision. They just copied the last boss, copy and pasted them all over the map, and they're probably weaker than the full boss, I would imagine. And you also don't have to fight them, and you can just run through them, and they're really easy. Okay. anything back here? Yes. Oh, come on. Another energy drink already? These damn knockoff energy drinks.
Is there something on that bench? Nope. Oh, shit. Almost there. Say. For trade inquiries, please use the pedestrian entrance. Oh, that's like the like the shipping entrance or car entrance or something. I feel like I'm armed enough to take on an army. How much ammo do I have? 48 service ammo, and this is just the unloaded stuff. 24 shotgun. 90 assault rifle. 16 rifle and 6 target. Jesus. I think the target pistol is the only one that needs to be loaded. I'm probably never going to have to use that thing. I'll d I doubt I'll run out of all the other ammo first. Current recorded playtime is 6 hours and 4 minutes. Yeah, so we're actually pretty close to the end, I think. Can't be more than a couple more hours. Assuming I played a lot slower than the average person. Which is likely. I like how what the younger me did in the cutscene is, is, uh, it's like, Tre uh, I was gonna say Trevor, Travis, it's like Travis in the now just did the same sort of thing. I don't know if they rang it, they probably did, but at least they walked over here, almost like they're in a trance. Pages are torn out, leaving only one entry, room 500, name Mr. R. Grady, other occupants, son. Reason for visit, business slash pleasure. Check-in date, I can't see it. Right, so obviously that's our father. Would that be the visit? Well, they probably visited, maybe they visited lots of times, but that might specifically be the visit where the, uh, the son was attacked. Wait, was the sun attacked before they were uh, committed to the sanitarium or after? I think it might be before, actually. So that might not be related to the attack directly. Motel map. All right, this place can't be too... Never mind, this place is huge. <laughs> they really like to make their maps huge in this game. They go all out. They make a few locations that are very big. That pool looks kind of like a heart. Oh, that's also a cool detail. On the map, this is obviously intended for guests. It also tells you the rates. Peak per night, off peak per night. Two bucks per bucket of ice. Riverside Motel does not accept responsibility for any theft from rooms or cars left in the parking lot. Thank you!
Just junk. Just junk. Just some old flyers and a desk fan. Looks like it hasn't been used in a while. I don't know if this is a game issue or an emulator issue, but that's the second time where it's like mashed through it as if I was mashing the X button, but I didn't. I just pressed it once. That was a key to something. One of the rooms? Room 306. Okay, that's not the key where our father was staying. That was room 500. Rotary calendar here. Take a look. Is that a puzzle? Yeah. Well, if I find a date, it's probably used for that. Is it worth trying the manager's office? It's almost certainly locked. Yep. The sound of this walkway doesn't give me much confidence. Sounds squeaky and loose. such a weird thing that the most efficient way to fight when you're shooting an enemy is to shoot them a bunch until they get down. Switch to your fists. That would be the best, but any melee weapon would do. And then you gotta just get into like your combat stance to like psych yourself out that you're ready to stomp the enemy. Release and then stomp. So weird. Shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo. Oh, I've got a lot of shotgun ammo. Probably be a pretty good thing to use in these close quarters. I'm just thinking, what's better to use against a boss, a shotgun or a service pistol? Probably the shotgun, right? It would do more damage. Even if it is meant for close range. I don't know if range is really a thing in this game, though, for, for weapons, for guns. Like, I don't think any of my shots have missed. Check the other side. What's the deal? The other one died in three hits. Okay, on health. That's eerie. <laughs> Melted wedding cake. Light stand. Wedding gear. Looks like it's been here a while.
This bathroom's nasty. This isn't even the other world, it's just nasty. those noises? Maybe the shotgun's not a great idea for those. It takes a little too long to kill him. I'm just puzzling over those weird footstep sounds. First I thought maybe it was a weird echo, like a very strange echo effect, but I don't think it is. I guess I'll take the first data. Yeah, I'm not even moving, it can't be an echo effect. I'm gonna keep using the service pistol. Meh. Look at those dead woods just outside the motel. Could probably just avoid them. Ah, uh, no, there's a bunch of doors I need to check. Let's take him out. Damn it. Great. At least I'm not red, though. I got 10 health drinks and 3 ampules. I think I'm good. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 oh. One of those. Uh, yeah, that thing I don't think I'm gonna shoot. I don't wanna waste my ammo on it. Probably gonna take a lot to kill it. What the fuck is that thing? That's new. Also, yes, the surface pistol is not really adequate for close quarters. How much of the shotgun? 32. That's a lot of ammo. I'm going to switch to the shotgun. Room 306. Uh, the only thing is, they were looking at something back here. What are you looking at? Maybe just the enemy. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. I think they were looking at the enemy.
Ah, uh, mirror. 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 I want to check out the rest of the place before I go in there, but most likely the others are locked. It's a couple more places, though. Oh. Shortcut? Oh yeah, back to the beginning. Cool. Oh, glad I did that. There's like an employee staff lounge room here. Can I even get to the door? Hey, what's up? 